How to do? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Doing Stuff with Darnell. I am Darnell, and we're in the kitchen, so today we're cooking with Darnell. Um, I got a good one for you guys, even though everyone is a good one. But today we're cooking chicken and waffles, a classic, and we're doing it all in the air fryer. Well, at least we're doing a chicken in the air fryer. I wish we can air fry waffles, but. Maybe I should try that. Should we try that? No. We okay, we we're not. We're not video. gonna. Can I talk? We're not gonna air fry the waffle because I don't think that's possible. I don't know if we can, but one day I will try. But we are going to make chicken and waffles. You got a new waffle maker. We got the air fryer. We got the chicken. We got the waffle stuff to make the waffles with. And I'll see y'all in about two seconds when. We went on crossfade and we end up in the kitchen. So. All right, here we go. We have our chicken here. We took a whole young chicken, uh, cut the spine out, and then we butchered it. Actually, we um, cut the legs off, then we cut the thighs off, and then we cut the wings off, and then we cut the breasts off, and it left us with two, four, six, eight pieces of chicken. That's all going in the air fryer and we're going to cook it. But first we got to season it. So. Right here we have some salt, some cumin, or cumin, however you want to say it, some other extra secret ingredients, some cayenne. We're going to use a lot of cayenne pepper today. So, so we're just going to get this and we're going to sprinkle it over. Sprinkle it over heavy. And this is <laughs> you want to coat it, get your hands in. And just coat everything. Get a couple tosses. Mm. Now, I'm going to set this down, um, wash my hands, and get started on this waffle. And I'll see you guys in a quick second. So change of plans, we decided to do put the chicken in now. So about time the waffles, you know, get done, we can time it out a little easily. So get your air fryer, you can just lay your chicken in however you want it. So that's a thigh, that's a leg, that's a leg. Ooh, these chicken's big. Here's a breast. Some people like overcrowding this stuff. I don't really care because I flip it every other, you know, every other so and so. And but I don't want to crowd it too much, and it looks like it's gonna be crowded a lot. So, do you want the thing on top, like the metal thing? Nah. Yo. Throw this bad boy in. So because it's a little overcrowded, you gotta make sure you go in there and flip every now and then. And it might make the cooking time go up a little bit longer. So because you wanna make sure you have good chicken cooked through. So we're gonna go air fry, temperature 390, time. Let's go 27. Now that we got this going, it's time to make the waffles. So uh, let's get it done. All right, now it's time for the waffle. The waffle is pretty simple to make. Um, now, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. We have one cup of flour. You wanna just let that off in air. We have a bowl of two, tea two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth Teaspoon of salt. Just gonna put all that in there. And we got my handy dandy whisk. I'm gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. Oh, and shout out to my homie Lamar for the cutting board. You know, you see it? Oh yeah. And shout out to the Fowl family for the knife. It's very sharp. Nice knife. Back to the whisk. Had to get those shout outs in. 
<laughs> so this looks like it's pretty good. I'm gonna set that to the side. Now it's time for our wets. Empty bowl. One cup of milk. Two eggs. Crack on this cutting board. Uh, one hand, because I'm the man. Same whisk. You need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Never mind. We're going to mix together. Oh, yeah. If you got a bigger bowl, use a bigger bowl. Y'all see this? We have one. Yeah, but I don't want to use that because I don't want to waste another bowl. Let me break that yolk up. Now, mix the dry with the wet. We're going to put a little in at once. Whoa. Mix it. Want to mix slow. I'm going to add the rest. This looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Alright, now we're going to add the butter. It's just room temperature butter. About four tablespoons. Mix that together. That chicken already smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just hungry. Last but not least, the rest of the butter. Mix with my special ingredient, a little cayenne pepper for some spice. I want to cover up half of it. Let's go add an extra to it. And now we have our waffle mix. So we're just making sure you check on your chicken. Um, we have our mix together. We can set that to the side. And around about, I'll say, the six minute mark, we can start getting our waffle together. So I'll see you in a few. So the chicken is around four minutes until it's done. Now it's time to hit our waffles. We got our mix. We got our waffle uh, iron. It's pretty hot right now. But before we do that, I told you we're gonna add one more thing. We got the, the rest of this, um, what is this, habanero. I wanna slice, ooh, and shout out to the Fowl family again for this perfect knife. Cut so well. And shout out to my homie for the cutting board. Now, you might say, why you got peppers for waffles? Because I'm that type of person, okay? I love everything hot. So, let me get over to my waffle mix and you wanna pour from the center. You wanna pour on the center. You don't wanna over pour. Mm, it's a little runny. Add a little bit more. Add a little bit more. Boom. See that? Now we're gonna add a little jalapeno to this waffle. They, it, it didn't spread out like I wanted to spread out, but it's all good. And now we're gonna close. We're gonna let that go. We're gonna let that go for about, I, have, I actually don't know. I'm just gonna keep peeking at it. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all like I know how long it takes for this waffle to make. We should have read the instructions. I don't, I don't really care. I mean, not that I don't care, but you know, we're gonna take a peek at it. It's on medium, so I'm gonna give it around three, four minutes. All right, so we're gonna take a little peek at our waffle. I don't know if it's ready yet. I told you, I don't know how long it takes. 
But once the radius high, it should take like one or two minutes. That's what I read in the instructions, so. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Mm -hmm. We're almost done. So we're gonna let that go for another minute. Another minute or so. Let it get crispy. I like crispy waffles. I don't know about you. Uh, what type of waffle do you like? Medium. Don't care. We're gonna eat it the way I like it. No, I'm just kidding. She says she like medium. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to make it medium. It's the big reveal. I'm the first waffle. We just took our chicken off. It looks pretty good. It's pretty solid. I'm gonna let it sit here and you know do what it do. Do what chicken do. It need the rest though. See if y'all let it rest. Mm, that's good. Big reveal. Mm, too anticlimactic. It's non-stick, so it's not gonna stick. I'm just gonna take it off, put it off to the side, start my next one. Usually people like to do um, syrup. Yeah, you can do syrup. But since we keep in the spicy feel, we got- Since we don't have any syrup. And we don't have any syrup too. But Louisiana hot sauce. Everybody, Frank Red hot. No. This is the this is the OG hot sauce. Louisiana, this is what you get from Popeyes. This is slap. I've never seen you eat that. What? We've never had that in the fridge, ever. No. You never bought this and had this in the fridge. I like that stuff. What? Louisiana? Y'all, it's because it's it's just the difference in you. Everybody, y'all know what this is. Stop playing. All right, we just gonna go. I'm not gonna measure. We just gonna lock. We gonna duck. You know what? Pop the top in that joint. That's how you really do it. Let me not stain my cutting board. Go 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 go. Gonna do half. Get the honey out. If you ever been to, if you ever been to Popeyes and you know, if you ever been to Popeyes and you know when you get some chicken, they just throw you a bunch of honey and hot sauce in the box. So one day my homie Devon, shout out to Devon and shout out to Lamar for this cutting board, this custom cutting board. It's cold. <laughs> but anyway, my homie Devon. We was at the crib one day, he was like, you ever mix the honey with the hot sauce? Oh, honey with hot sauce? What's wrong with you? He tried it. I did it. it. Changed my life. And ever since, every time I get Popeyes, honey with the Louisiana. Gotta taste something in me. Mmm, perfect. Woo-wee! I'ma finish this waffle. Make one more. Yeah, make one more. And then we're gonna be ready to plate, and then we're gonna be ready to eat. We ain't ate nothing all day. I'm hungry. I'm gonna take, break them in half. And fourths. It's all about presentation. If it looks good, it tastes good. You can go one, one more. Now for the chicken, we're gonna go leg. We're gonna do two legs. Where's the other leg? Jesus Christ, where are you? Oh, there you go. We're gonna do two legs. Both wings. Things. And we're gonna top it with the and to finish it off, sauce me please. This is the good part. Get in, get in real close, get in real close to that one. Just wet it up. Better job. 
And there you have it. Chicken and waffles in the air fryer. You can even make this healthier by making protein waffles. That's something you can do. Just add some protein to it. Simple. You can make your chicken healthier by baking it maybe? I don't know. What's the difference between baking and air fryer? You can look that up yourself. Um, but it's time for me to, you know, try down. Let me, let me taste the chicken. Let me go a bite. Mmm. That's pretty fire. Alright, I'm out. Go eat. See y'all later.